Hope everybody had a good week. Jordan Trask here and I'm on day 10 of the 25 days of Christmas. And today I drew a local gym or a wellness gym or a fitness instructor for my random strategy. And I wanna make this quick cause I got a jet. How you doing Roger? Um, but really when it comes to doing a gym, I mean you don't wanna focus on too many things cause I think a lot of people get bombarded during the holiday season with just healthy eating and burning off the fat of, of the meals and the celebrations and the splurging and and the indulgence, right? Of, and then once New Year's comes, you know, it's kind of like that overwhelming message with gyms and stuff. So I thought, you know, trying to uh, come up with an idea that could be part of the season that you can kind of include the community in. And initially I'm thinking, you know, kind of like some of the CrossFit stuff where you do the fitness games or you know, like a sled pulling competition or sleigh pulling, we'll call it a sleigh pulling and kind of open it up to the public and, and like some, some war games or something like that, that um, are holiday themed, right? I thought I thought that that would initially be kind of cool. It might be hard to set that up, and then you have to deal with a little bit of, you know, disclosures and injuries and insurance and stuff like that. So, um, with that, with people coming that aren't members, so I thought, you know, what type of, uh, you know, event or strategy can we do that's open to the public but uh, not as, uh, you know, detailed or excruciating, right? Um, and so I was thinking just doing some dance classes. Uh, Opening it up for some holiday dance mix, dance class. I got some music playing in the background right now. I don't know if you can actually hear it. But maybe, you know, top 10 dancing tracks, you know, of all time. And you open up the gym or the, the aerobics floor or maybe just outside, right, if you're in Arizona. Um, or somewhere where you can go outside and enjoy it. Um, and have some fun. Have, uh, you know, some specific, you know, moves and stuff you could do with the public. Have some kids come, you know, burn some calories, right? And... And then you have different vendors and stuff there, different different uh, opportunities to, you know, showcase the experience, showcase the gym, you know, talk about the deals that you have, or I guess that not the deals. We don't want to talk about deals during the holidays, but the benefits your gym offers, the the perks of the gym, the features, uh, the people, right, the uh, trainers and stuff, and it might even give you a good opportunity just during the holidays to start really thinking, you know, before I jet here, you know. The relationships that you build as as a fitness uh, gym, you know that could be really important too. How you leverage certain events and stuff during the holidays, it might be cool to set up shop at, at an event and or offer some sort of packages or group discounts. I guess if you want to do discounts uh, with local businesses that are relevant or uh, you know maybe just have similar goals or similar visions in the community or maybe not, and you're able to package some stuff. You know when you think. Of the holidays it's all about you know stuff people you know can do together you know enjoy the time that you could do together so you know if you're able to come up with a package of you know going putt putt golfing or bowling or uh you know, maybe a uh, a meal out at a nice restaurant or something you know think about ways you could package that stuff you know five training classes with uh your trainer of choice uh, once a week you're gonna book uh, for, for every the whole month of December or maybe just to start off the new year I don't want to get into the new year but you know start the campaign November kick it off December 1st and every single week you book a session with a trainer and then you get dinner and then you have ice skating right maybe you have a package like that um, I'm not gonna go into a whole nother strategy but those are just some things I initially thought about packaging deals uh, getting in the community uh, posting up at events encouraging people staying away from you know the, the status quo which I'm gonna have a post about that here in a second. Um, and try to differentiate yourselves, you know, try to have some fun, try to create some memories. And, um, you know, you could even maybe pass out some some healthy recipes or some healthy dessert items maybe that you prepared or your trainers or your staff or uh, whatever else, that you're, whoever else you're working with, um, you know, might've created and, you know, start uh, finding ways to tie things together and at the end of the day if you get somebody to sign up for a package deal to come in once a week It's not hard to do right. You're changing behaviors. That's 30 days in the paradigm starting to shift They get the experience and then maybe they buy into the to the business itself Maybe they sign up for a membership or maybe they keep it small and come in every once in a while So it's all about the fruitful campaigns that are evergreen that keep on giving that isn't just a one-time thing um, that allows you to to cater to your customers and potential customers in the same way and also showcase the value that you provide. Be purposeful with everything you do guys and always remember to pre-focus.